how to add fonts in Adobe XD. Good day folks and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you two ways that you can add fonts into Adobe XD. So let us jump straight in. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to take fonts from a third party or a private website that has nothing to do or is not part of um, Adobe and I'm going to show you how to install a text or add a text from there. So 1001 free fonts. It is an awesome website. It has tons of different fonts in different categories. You can see over here that they show you a couple examples of what they have and here you can just literally download it for free. So as you can see over here there is Crinks and on the right hand side there is a download button. Now once you click on that download button it literally downloads to your device. So once we've done that we're going to go ahead now and this may differ from your device. You may be using a different browser. If you're using perhaps Firefox or if you're using Edge, this may look slightly different. But for Google Chrome, this is what it looks like. You're going to go over to the downloads over here and you can see that it has actually started to download. Once your download has been completed, you can tap on that and it'll open up the file. So you can see over here, this is the name of the file and then you can see all the components within the file. You will find now an extract button and this again may differ from your operating system if you're using Windows 7 or if you're using Windows 10 or if you're using Windows 11 such as my operating system this will all look different. So we're going to tap on extract all and then extract and it'll now extract all of these files and put them into a folder. So what you're going to have a look for now is a file that says true type font style. So it can be this one up over here and it can be this one over here. We're going to go ahead and double click on this one and as you can see this is an example of what the font style actually looks like. On the top of this window you can see that there is a print as well as an install. We're going to go ahead and tap on install and just in a few seconds that will actually be installed. We can now close this window completely and we can go ahead now into Adobe XD and we have a new project or a new design open over here. On the left hand side you're going to go to your toolbar and you're going to tap on the type tool or the text box tool and you can now create a text box. Now we have a text box and we can start typing. So I've typed out font styles and on the right hand side you can see that you have a bunch of options for your text style. So I'm going to select my text over here and now you can go ahead over to the right hand side and underneath text you can see that there is a text style already. So it's a Sego UI and now we are going to either one use the drop down menu and look for the font that we just downloaded or two you're going to go ahead and you're going to tap on the name and it'll be highlighted and now you can type in the name to search for it so going back over here it is called crinks and we're going to go back into xd and type in crinks you can see now as i started typing you can see that the font style has actually changed and crinks regular for personal use has actually made the changes over here so I'm now going to show you a second way of actually downloading and adding fonts to Adobe XD. If you go over to your Creative Cloud, this is what it looks like. If you'd like to download this desktop app, you can go ahead to adobe.com and look for the Creative Cloud download button. You can download it. This is what the interface looks like. It basically shows you all of the apps that you have installed as well as all the other apps that are available to you. And on the left hand side you have a bunch of other options. We're going to go now and look at manage fonts. Now once you tap on manage fonts you can see over here these are a bunch of the fonts that we actually have downloaded from the Adobe fonts store. Now, if you do not know how to get into that, you can either tap on the Browse More Fonts or you can go into your web browser of choice and you can type in fonts.adobe.com and it'll bring you to this home page. Now we're going to go ahead and you can see that there are a bunch of fonts, again, tons of options to choose on and you're going to click on any one of the fonts that you would like to actually use in Adobe XD. 
You can see now that this font style only has one font in it, but sometimes it has more than one font style in it, and so you can download the entire family. As you can see, it says add family, and it'll download all of the font styles within the family. If you wanna go ahead and just add the one font style, you can go ahead and tap on add font on the right-hand side of the font. Now you can see that it has been added, and we can just check the name over here, and it is Siruka. So going into XD again, we can go ahead and we can start typing into the text style box. And you can see over here, it now gives you the option Siruka and you're going to tap on enter. And now it will have changed the font style on Adobe XD. There we go, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you in another awesome video. Cheers for now, guys.